And we've had cases, you know, one in particular that I'm thinking of where she came in, it was a bad marriage. She just wanted out. I just want to walk away, sign the papers. I don't want anything. Just we each keep our own stuff. And this was a situation where the husband had a house, brought it into the marriage. And what I heard from the wife was she had put in money. You know, she had done a substantial amount of the work in the house, had put in quite a bit of her own money. And I had to say, you know, I think you have an argument here to be able to get some of that back. But for her, you know, the emotional cost of having to go through that meant more than the financial. So we put out an offer, just sign the piece of paper, everybody leaves. He refused to sign the piece of paper. And after a period of time, we finally had to file in court and we had to go through the entire process, the entire time there was no negotiation and her viewpoint changed. You know, once we had to file, she said, well, screw you. Now I want something. (laughs) (laughs) I would too. I'd be like, well, now I do. And it ended up being a case where we had to go to court and I think his highest offer throughout the entire thing was like five grand or something. And we walked away with way, 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 way more than that. Plus he had to pay some of my attorney fees because he was just being unreasonable. But for him, this is my house. I shouldn't have to give you anything. You know, you're the one that wants a divorce. So just leave. Yeah. Except if he had just signed the paperwork at the beginning, that's what he would have gotten. (laughs) But that's where the emotional side of divorce really comes into play. And that changes the ballgame because because you can have on paper, this is how an outcome should look. You're always on your A game and you always have to change direction based on emotions and strategy.